Hello everyone, welcome again in Engman YouTube channel. So in this video, we will have another quick knowledge episode. And today's topic is about conventional and unconventional reservoir. It's going to be very quick. I just came across good pictures, so I I think it's it's gonna be good if I if I share the pictures with you. So let's check the picture. All right, so this is the first picture that I'm that I would like to share with you. If you are interested, you can go to this book and you can read. I think this picture is very, very good and quite comprehensive. So here we have several types of oil and gas reservoir, conventional and unconventional. So as you can see here, I think we can start from the right side. This is the symbol for sandstone. So we can find our sandstone here. Or maybe can use my laser. This one. And siltstone, another lithology. So we also have shale. There you go. And carbonate rock. Okay below here and we also have metamorphite the metamorph rock all right typically fractured and then coal bed here so if you want to find coal bed don't look at it or don't try to find it in the very deep reservoir it's yeah normally you will find at the upper side close to the surface Okay, so there you go. And volcanics. Volcanics. I think it's here. Okay. And then red means oil reservoir. So here we have tight oil. So oil is contained within this layer. I think this is the silt stone. So the tight oil is contained in the silt stone formation. Yeah. And then green, I mean, sorry, yellow, it's for gas. And then if you have yellow at the top and then red at the bottom, it means, yeah, hydrocarbon reservoir, gas and oil. And then, of course, blue means water. And then, what is it? Okay, dispersed gas. Okay, gas in dispersed distribution. And this line means fault and just a dot of oil, it means oil shoe. Okay, so after looking at the right side, just look at the left side. So in cold bed methane, we have gas, but in dispersed distribution. Gas is dispersed in cold bed methane reservoir. And then biogas, all right. It's continuous. And then, of course, here we have conventional structural trapping. We have oil, and then below we have water. And then this is another structural trapping, conventional reservoir, anticline. You know, we have gas, and then below the gas, we have oil, and then water. And this is interesting, lithologic oil. So we call this lithologic oil. So the trapping mechanism is not primarily structural, but it's lithologic or stratigraphic in nature. Okay. So the, the author make a little bit distinction between lithologic oil reservoir and stratigraphic oil reservoir. But I think practically speaking, we can we can consider them as the same. Lithologic oil reservoir, stratigraphic oil reservoir, which means that the main mechanism of the entrapment of the oil is the difference in, you know, in, in strata, in the type of rock or in the characteristic of the rock, all right? So the oil will be contained within, you know, porous, porous media, porous formation, porous rock, 
and then the trapping will be provided by the tight layer maybe usually shield all right and then here we have tight oil and then below and and you see in tight oil the oil is distributed in continuous manner all right so we have continuous accumulation of oil in the tight oil reservoir but in shale oil reservoir we have oil in dispersed distribution you see just dots of oil there instead of continuous red color and then here we have tight gas again continuous in sandstone all right sandstone formation but the permeability of course will be much lower but again in shale in shale or we call this shale gas the gas is dispersed and then we can maybe have carbonate reservoir you see and here in the picture here we have gas carbonate gas and then here below we have metamorphic fractured gas reservoir so it produces gas and you can see this yellow and then depending on the permeability or the transmissibility or the conductivity of this fault the gas can release all right to the upper side of the subsurface and maybe accumulate in the carbonate formation and you see we have volcanic oil oil within the volcanic rock but somehow it is trapped because the adjacent formation is shale all right so it's particularly interesting oh don't forget we have hydrate here on the sea floor and above it of course the sea the ocean the water all right so yeah there are many types of reservoir conventional and unconventional structural trapping stratigraphic trapping or as this picture says lithologic trapping and you see the difference between tight oil and shale oil at least qualitatively right and the next picture that i want to share i think it's it's relatively the same it's triassic tight oil in the ordos basin right i take this picture from this book and here we have carbona ferrous permian basin here yeah, the the light brown color and then we have Triassic Yang Chang formation sands there. And then Mesozoic Lacustrine Shield, all right, here. And then we have Structural Gas Reservoir. I cannot distinguish, but I think it's here. Oh, here. Structured Gas Reservoir, but the dominant gas accumulation will be in here tight gas so it's continuous but you know the shape of the distribution it's like i don't know it 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 follows the shape of the formation right and then lithologic oil reservoir oh i see so we have lithologic oil reservoir in this basin so you see here so the main trapping mechanism actually is not structural, but rather lithologic or stratigraphic. And then unconventional oil. All right, we have another type of oil, unconventional oil. And then what is this? This is the ordo fission carbonate fracture cavity natural gas. And lake shoreline there, lake shoreline. All right. Yeah, so I think unconventional oil here means shell oil. Okay. So yeah, this video, the, the objective of this video is not to, you know, explain everything about this, but 
I just want to share the picture with you and yeah if you're interested you can dig in by yourself but I think it it can make a good trigger for us so it's very interesting and I hope this video is useful and thank you so much for watching see you again in the next quick knowledge videos thank you